Hold on, young man. What is it you think you're doing with that child? Is this your kid? No, he's not, but... Then shut up. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Fazbear Entertainment would like you to put your hands together for the one, the only, Freddy Fazbear. Y'all did not make this choice easy. This is the look I'm trying to go for, but this was the one that you guys picked for six, but it was too chunky for me. So this was four and three with the fabric paint with the two different types of brushes. And this was six and five with the puffy paint applied from the bottle and with a brush. I think I like the last one now, but I don't know. Hello? It's over. I told my wife. Who is this? Oh! 
I'm sick of seeing all these sinister faces. Why am I working for minimum wage? If I could be killed, they should give me a raise. Why did they hire me? This is insane. Hey everyone, I'm just here with an update on my newest cosplay build. So we're almost there with the torso now, I've just got a few detail work to do and kind of hide all that glue up. But I'll start work on the legs and head very soon. Here are my new gloves too, um, compared to Bonnie's old ones, these are a million times better. I'm loving the look of these. Alright, so here's how I did the Glamrock Chica's 80 inspired like leg warmers. I do not know how to sew or what I'm doing. This is my third time making this, by the way. I folded the fabric in half and then traced out a pattern that worked for me. The top is like the measure around the calf area where it's gonna sit. Then I painted these with the fabric paint that I had in the last video. Then I used heat and bond like adhesive stuff. Uh, the rough side goes down first. Then using an iron, but put a tail under here. I think you do this for five seconds and then peel back the tape. Then fold the fabric over and then I think you steam it for like 20 seconds. I don't know, I keep reading the package and I keep forgetting. But anyway, just follow the directions. I just did it until it like stuck. <laughs> so I did this for the bottom and the top and then I folded wrong sides together, did a, I think a snake stitch, very simple. Left four inches from the top to put Velcro on it so I could put my foot in and out of the sleeve. Then sewed Velcro on the top so it would close, and here it is. I probably could do a lot better, but this is all I know how to do, and I liked how it turned out, so here we are. So I cut the five points of the star out of this flashcard and then I rounded off the corners and painted them black and glued them on top of an old eyelash I just had laying around. They should be some distance apart so the lash can still bend. For the bottom of the star I bent the beginning of the lashes so you actually have somewhere to put it on your eye. Here you can see kind of what it looks like without all the flashy makeup. I chose to kind of curl the paper that way when you put it on your eye it kind of mimics and moves like a real lash. There's more to it though. So I used these baby lashes that I make from cutting the points off of bigger lashes. I made a little diagram here so you know where I placed them. For the bottom lashes I just put the glue on those bent edges from earlier and then I placed the mini ones on to give it that full curve. Boom!